When Elon Musk talked about changing the world with electric cars, many people thought it was just the talk of a dreamy billionaire. But in 2026, he's about to deliver a bombshell, a brand new Tesla for just $14,999. Yes, you read that right. It doesn't seem real, but it already has a release date set for the streets. The Model 2 is arriving with such an absurd price tag that it makes any combustion engine car seem like something from the last century. And the original plan was a $30,000 car. Half of that became a reality, leaving the entire industry speechless. Even longtime fans were stunned by the announcement, and the competitors? Well, they panicked. Now, imagine the scene. December 2026. Dealerships packed. Waiting lists exploding. People sleeping in line to secure theirs. Elon Musk went straight to the point. This will be Tesla's best-selling car in history. And that's no marketing exaggeration. The promise is to produce thousands per day, something never before seen on the company's assembly line. The idea is clear. It's no longer about luxury or status. It's about putting a Tesla in the garage of any ordinary person. That family that never dreamed of an electric car now has a real chance. The game has changed, and it's changed badly. And the reason for this move is simple. Elon knows the future won't wait. While traditional automakers are still fighting for small slices of the premium market, Tesla is digging a tunnel straight to the heart of the middle class. And with a compact, urban, and super practical car, the Model 2 hits the bullseye. It doesn't want to compete with BMW or Porsche. It wants to be the new Corolla of electric cars, but with more technology, less maintenance, and an environmental footprint that makes sense in 2026. The most curious thing is that this surreal price doesn't mean a stripped down and uncomfortable car. According to leaks straight from Giga Texas, the Model 2 is already taking shape with a series of ingenious solutions to cut costs without sacrificing performance. Elon Musk has made his decision. It's time to accelerate. No delays, no vague promises. He wants this car on the streets before any competitor has time to react. And by all indications, the timeline is further ahead than many people expected. And it's not just about the price. It's about breaking the logic of the automotive industry. The Model 2 won't just be cheap, it will be smart, connected, and built to last. Musk knows that there's no point in launching an entry-level car that looks like a clunker in two years. He wants something that will surprise. And for that, he spared no effort or investment. Everything indicates that this project is already being treated as Tesla's biggest bet since the Model 3. And between us, when a guy puts this level of focus on something, the chance of it going wrong is almost zero. And there's a detail that almost went unnoticed. The Model 2 may be the first Tesla to completely abandon the use of lithium-based batteries, a topic we'll explore further later. But this rumor alone was enough to stir up the energy market, which began to speculate heavily about the new generation of batteries. And of course, all this is wrapped up in the promise of fast charging, greater range, and even lower cost. It sounds like a joke, but it's not. Tesla's proposal with this car is so audacious, it almost seems like science fiction. But when we look at the company's trajectory, we realize that this type of move has always been their pattern. They come in strong, scare their rivals, and redefine what's possible. That's how it was with the Model S. That's how it was with the Model 3. And now, history repeats itself with the Model 2. The difference is that, this time, they don't just want to change the electric vehicle segment, they want to change the world's traffic. If there's one thing that immediately catches the eye about the Model 2, it's its design. It's not just a smaller version of the Model 3, or a poor cousin of the Model Y. It's a new, bolder, and, curiously, simpler design language. It seems contradictory, but it's not. Tesla decided to bet everything on minimalism with personality. And the result is a car you recognize from afar, but that also looks like it's from 2030. The headlights have been repositioned, now higher and sharper. 
abandoning the famous light bar present in other models. This wasn't just aesthetics. It's reduced cost with intelligence. This new design didn't come alone. It's directly linked to a turning point in production. The Model 2 will be born with the most advanced giga casting structure ever used by Tesla. Instead of dozens of parts joined together, the car now practically emerges whole from a gigantic cast aluminum press. This drastically reduces the number of joints, eliminates alignment errors, and, as a bonus, gives the design a cleaner, more futuristic look. The body appears sculpted from a single piece. And man, that makes an absurd difference when you see the car in person. The production philosophy also changed. No reinventing the wheel with every component. Tesla simplified doors, hinges, latches, and frames, all with one purpose, to cut costs without looking like they're cutting costs. A good example is the doors. They remain four conventional doors, but with optimizations in the opening angle, seals, and acoustics. It seems like a small detail, but it directly impacts the daily user experience. And that's something Elon Musk didn't want to compromise on. The car had to be cheap, but it still had to look like a Tesla. Aerodynamics also received special attention. The Model 2 has clean lines, with almost no unnecessary curves. Every angle of the body was designed to reduce drag and improve efficiency. This not only increases range, but also contributes to a modern look. Even with its compact dimensions, it gives the feeling of being a smart car, ready for the city, but without looking cheap. And look, that's quite difficult to do in an entry-level vehicle. But Tesla achieved this balance with a design that, in my opinion, is one of the brand's most intelligent. Another interesting point is that Tesla didn't want to make a cute little car or an economical and adorable one. Not at all. The Model 2 has presence. It conveys solidity, as if saying, I'm cheap, but I'm not simplistic. It's almost as if the car has its own personality. The high front, the aggressive headlights, and the absence of frills create a visual identity that avoids the obvious. And even without expensive elements, such as chrome trim or exuberant wheels, it attracts attention. The beauty here comes from functionality, and that's brilliant. Speaking of functionality, Everything in the structure has been optimized to facilitate mass production. Gigacasting eliminates several steps in the traditional process, which speeds up assembly and reduces costs. Panel assembly, door alignment, even painting have been redesigned to be faster and cheaper. It's as if the car was created with the cost spreadsheet open beside it, but without sacrificing good taste. This shows that it's possible to make an efficient and beautiful car as long as you have the courage to break the mold. That's where many people turn up their noses, but it's worth understanding the reasoning. To deliver a complete car for under $15,000 in 2026, Tesla had to make choices, and some of them were tough. No panoramic sunroof, heated seats, or premium finish. The Model 2's cabin is simple, very simple. The seats are fabric, the sound system is less powerful, the interior lighting is a single color, and the sound insulation has been reduced. But the craziest thing, even so, the car still conveys a futuristic feeling. Because what remains isn't luxury, it's intelligence. The key innovation was keeping all the autonomous driving hardware, including the front cameras integrated into the car body. This shows how much Tesla prioritizes long-term technology. Instead of embellishing the car with things that impress during test drives, Elon Musk wanted to ensure that the Model 2 is ready to evolve along with the software. In other words, you buy an inexpensive car today, and in a few years, it can drive itself on the streets, something that no other car in this price range comes close to offering. Honestly, this changes the game. Of course, some buyers will miss certain comforts, and that's okay. Elon was very clear about this. If someone wants luxury, Tesla has other models to offer. The focus of the Model 2 isn't to impress the neighbor with a glass roof or ambient lighting in 12 colors. 
It's to deliver a reliable, technological, and affordable car. A car that any American, European, or Brazilian worker can dream of having in their garage. And even if it's more Spartan inside, it will still carry the signature of the most desired brand in the electric car market. Now, one thing that deserves highlighting is how Tesla optimized every detail of the cabin. The seat fabric, for example, was designed to be durable and easy to clean. The doors, although simpler, still offer good sealing. The multimedia system should maintain the brand's minimalist design with controls centralized on a single screen, which helps reduce buttons and complexity on the dashboard. It won't have cinema-quality sound, but it will play your playlist, open the map, and control the car with updates via Wi-Fi. And that, let's face it, is already more than many popular cars offer today. Even with the cuts, the experience is still remarkable because everything that was simplified went through technical and strategic criteria. Nothing was removed randomly. Even the acoustic glass, which is now single-layered, continues to offer basic comfort. And the curious thing is that, for many people, all this streamlining won't even be noticeable, especially for those who have never owned a Tesla. Chances are, when entering the Model 2 for the first time, the feeling will be of being in a car of the future, but at a price that fits in the present. And there's another point. The Model 2 wasn't created to impress the elite. It was created to popularize electric vehicles. And in this mission, luxury can even be an obstacle, because each sophisticated item increases the price and alienates the average consumer. By stripping the car down to the bare bones, Tesla found a balance between cost and innovation, and that could be the secret to scaling global production. After all, the goal is to have this car on streets all over the world, not just in wealthy neighborhoods in California. If the Model 2 was already generating buzz with its price, what about the new battery technology it may debut? Tesla is about to throw caution to the wind and abandon lithium a material that has always been central to electric car batteries. The plan is bold, to introduce aluminum ion batteries, something that until recently seemed like something out of a laboratory. But now, with Elon Musk pressured by Asian competition and the instability of lithium prices, this new chemistry could be the game changer Tesla needed to maintain its leadership and drastically reduce costs. For those not too keen on the technical details, here's a simple comparison. While lithium carries one electron per ion, aluminum carries three. This means that, in theory, it can move more energy with less material. In other words, more performance, less weight. And you know what that causes? A lighter car that consumes less fuel and goes further. According to early leaks, the Model 2 with this battery would have a range of 300 miles using only 53. That's a lot for a car in this category. And it's just the beginning. Another point that draws attention is the price. Internal estimates indicate that an aluminum ion battery of the ideal size for the Model 2 could cost around $2,000 less than a traditional LFP. And that's no small amount. In a car costing a $14,999, this saving can be the difference between profit and loss on a large scale. And do you know why? Because aluminum is 800 times more abundant than lithium in the Earth's crust. Literally, aluminum is everywhere, from soda cans to the structure of your laptop. It's cheap, easy to extract, and, unlike lithium, doesn't depend on rare mines in the middle of the desert. This abundance also solves a geopolitical problem. Tesla no longer wants to depend on unstable suppliers, crazy prices, or political deals to secure lithium. With aluminum, the production chain becomes much simpler. It can extract locally, process more efficiently, and avoid exposure to price fluctuations in the international market. And that, in an increasingly economically tense world, is a huge relief. Elon Musk has already hinted that he's tired of the madness of the commodities market. The answer? to find a strategic way out. And how does this fit into the Model 2? Perfectly. The car is light, compact, and focused on efficiency. In other words, 
It's the ideal environment to test a new battery that delivers more for less. And if the promising performance of the aluminum ion prototypes is confirmed, the Model 2 will not only be the cheapest Tesla, it will be the most advanced in terms of energy storage. This could be the automotive equivalent of replacing the combustion engine with an airplane turbine. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but only a little. There's also the issue of recharging. Because aluminum can move more electrons at once, these batteries have the potential to charge much faster. We're talking minutes, maybe less than 10, for a full charge. For those who live a hectic life, this changes everything. It eliminates the anxiety of waiting at a charging station. And if Elon Musk can truly deliver on this time frame safely and reliably, he could finally bury the range versus charging debate that so often plagues electric cars. Tesla may be making a lot of noise with the Model 2, but it's impossible to ignore who really lit the match under the fire. BYD. The Chinese giant is light years ahead when it comes to ultra-low prices with large-scale delivery, putting electric cars on the market for under $12,000. While everyone was wondering, how is this possible? Elon Musk understood that watching from the sidelines was too risky. That's when he decided to jump headfirst into the battlefield. And the Model 2 is his main weapon in this silent but brutal war against Chinese domination. BYD has such an aggressive production pace that it seems like they have a new factory every month. The Dolphin, Seagull, and Yuan EV models are flooding Asian, European, and even Latin American cities at an alarming rate. They aren't concerned with creating the most stylish or technologically advanced car, but rather with inundating the market with affordable and reliable options. And this, however simple it may seem, is a lethal strategy. When the average consumer begins to realize that they can trade in their combustion engine car for an entry-level electric vehicle without going bankrupt, the shift becomes inevitable. Elon Musk, with all his futuristic vision, perceived the risk. If Tesla didn't launch a mass-market model now, it risked being remembered as the apple of electric cars, that is, innovative, desirable, but elitist. But unlike cell phones, cars involve heavy infrastructure, global logistics, and costs that don't forgive mistakes. Tesla needed to leave the comfort zone of premium models and put both feet on more difficult ground. Cars for the masses. And that's how the Model 2 mission was born. A direct response to the pressure imposed by BYD and other Chinese automakers. The curious thing is that while the Western world was slow to take the Chinese seriously, they were already dominating the supply chains for batteries, semiconductors, lithium, and even control chips. This put companies like Tesla on high alert. After all, how can you compete with someone who has state support, cheap labor, rapid innovation, and insane scale production? Tesla's answer was to focus on what it does best, technology, software, and branding. Only this time at an affordable price. And that changes everything. The Model 2 doesn't just want to compete with BYD's Dolphin. It wants to take over the entry-level segment at once. It wants to be the car for the worker, the student, the family that never thought about owning a car. Elon Musk doesn't just want to regain leadership. He wants to dictate the pace of the next decade. And he knows that this will only happen if Tesla manages to maintain the quality that made it famous, but in a compact and aggressive package.